Fire is my only love. Shut up! Cartoons! So Laura Croft in this new animated series called Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider Laura Croft. It's coming on Netflix, this new season one show. And people are crying on Twitter right now about how they desexualized Laura Croft and that she gave her like no breasts at all compared to Laura Croft back in the day when she released on PC. She did have a big voluptuous breast, but now all of a sudden in this animated series, she has nothing. She's flat chested. Let's look at some comments. Look what Grum says. What the heck did they do to Laura Croft? Look what this guy says. Wild Bush Dog Gaming. Chin, arms, waist, and no butt. They desexualized Laura Croft for the cartoon. Who did they make this cartoon for? And here's like an in, in, in shot picture of the TV series. You can see that she's not as friggin' curvy as she was back then. Let's look at our friggin' uh, this one right here, this little clip. Let's see what this says. Need a babysitter. How about a friend? My father believed the Jake. See, she's looking at. <laughs> See, she's pretty flat chested. I can't believe I'm doing this frame per frame. But look, she's pretty flat chested there, right? Compared to what she normally is. Look at that. Doesn't have much going on there, Laura Croft. What happened? What's going on in this animated series? Why are we adding Sweet Baby Ink and Alyssa Mercante DEI in this crap? Believed the jade box I found in Chile wasn't the only one. That it had a sister. A ruby box. Just as big. What does the thief want with a pair of Chinese boxes? <laughs> Here's one of the shots that's going around that Grum's actually screenshot it. Look what they did to Laura Croft. Look what they did. Look, you can't see any breasts there. Like, see, this is outrageous. This is outrageous and preposterous and embarrassing, okay? They need to have the curvy breast for Laura Croft because that stays true to her true form back in the day. I'm not sure yet. Look, there's, there's nothing there. There's nothing there. She looks like a tomboy. Tomb Raider looks like a tomboy that's going around with no breasts at all. Looks like, literally looks like Alyssa Mercante during, in this angle right here. No breasts at all. All right. I, I find, look, there's nothing, I find it funny that we're all watching this and we don't even care about the storyline. We don't even care about the dialogue. We don't even care about what she's doing right now. All we're doing is looking at her chest area to justify that they ruined Tomb Raider. Show off. Yeah, Come then you got on, this babe. fat lord that can't even do anything. See, this is what they're doing to Tomb Raider. They're desexualizing it, all right? I've had it. Look, here's another example. Look at this. Where are the breasts? Where, are the, where is the Laura Croft that we know back in the day on friggin' Windows 98, 95 playing Tomb Raider 2 and trying to finish that goddamn game? So here's an old shot. This is what Tomb Raider's supposed to look like, by the way. This is how she actually looked like back in the day, Tomb Raider 2, which was released... Long time ago, I don't know, in the 90s, late 90s or something, I have no idea. This is how she's supposed to look, Tomb Raider, Laura Croft, and this is how she is now. She has nothing. She literally looks like a manly figure with, like, biceps. Literally looks like Alyssa Mercante right here. So the next clip, so basically, we dug deep and we found out that... Who, who is the person directing this uh, t animated series? Who is there being the director and we found out Joey Soloway which you could see on the right there previously named Jill Soloway Joey Soloway is the director of this Tomb Raider show and this is a person that was a woman before and transitioned into a man so now people are saying that maybe she had something to do behind this right She's directing the goddamn thing. She's the one telling people that, hey, I want Laura Croft to look like a man with no breasts. Why? Because Joey Salloway, a.k.a. Jill Salloway, is now a man as well. And then we go into Wikipedia. Look what's highlighted here. Salloway identifies as non-binary and gender conforming and uses they, them pronouns. 
In 2020, Salwi announced the name change from Jill to Joey, and that's her picture right there. So she's the one behind Laura Cross freaking flat chested look now and no more longer are we gonna get the Laura Croft that we know with the voluptuous breasts and all that stuff that's not happening anymore guys it's over it's DEI has taken over our planet it's taken over our tv shows our cartoons everything you can think of DEI okay you're gonna soon have to get DEI tattooed on you that's how ridiculous it is and then we dug even deeper and we found out that Mariel Hester is our featured Friday this week. She is a sweet, lovable, blah, blah, blah. She is the board art board director for the show. She, she, she has the artwork going on, right? And this person, who's a Mariel Hester, who's the board, uh, the art board director, if you go on her Twitter page, look what it says in her bio. Hello, illustration storyboards effort. Yeah, she does storyboards, right? She's a he him. So basically it was a woman before and transitioned now into a guy and now it's a he him. These two right here, Ari H, this one right here, and friggin' Joey Soloway are behind giving friggin' Laura Croft the flat chest that you see now. It's all gone woke. It's all gone downhill, folks, all right? The Tomb Raider brand that you know is being destroyed as we speak in this probably garbage woke DEI infested crap friggin cartoon that we're gonna have to watch on stupid Netflix let's continue on the screenshots this is pretty funny they turned Laura into Abby from Last of Us 2 so I looked up Abby from Last of Us 2 and I got this so this is what, this is the woman protagonist in Last of Us 2 literally looks like a man Li like literally looks like a man right now literally this is worse than the Tomb Raider like literally literally has no boob curvature right here okay this is it's just disgusting wearing an undershirt like a wife beater like a friggin guy would it's just biceps biceps bigger than a guy literally but you have arms here stronger than freaking rabbit dude's whole body and then the next screenshot, look at this. We went from this on the right. That's what Laura Croft, Croft was before, folks. Hey, kids and teenagers that are born, that are freaking Gen Xs or whatever, or the, the newborn, Gen Z. This is what Laura Croft was back in the day, and look what she's turned into. Nothing, all right? Nothing. And then here's a freaking evolution. <laughs> Guys, I want, the, I want the Laura Croft in the beginning. The polygon breast, right? You got that going on. So that's how she started off as. Then she evolved to that, then to that, then to that, then to that. Then, th then after this one right here, it slowly got less into this. And then like they just covered her up completely. It's This is going on in all of our friggin' media. And here's another screenshot of Laura Croft. That's what she was in the beginning right here. I think this is Tomb Raider 1 or Tomb Raider 2, the first stage with the wolves attacking you. And then she turned into this. Now she has nothing, no big breasts. No, like, small hips and, no, big hips and small waist. You don't have that anymore. Because people like friggin' Joey Salloway, a.k.a. Jill Salloway, who's a they-them, and friggin' Mariel Hester, who's a he-him, they control the artwork and direction of those TV shows with those video game IPs that you beloved, you loved at one time. Now, here's the thing, though. If you go on the main page of Netflix and you look up Tomb Raider Laura Croft, look at the artwork. They actually gave her a set of breasts here, right? She has good curvature here on the artwork, but for some reason, when you're friggin' watching the animated series, it's crap. Let's look at another one here. Laura Croft, their glorious return. Sometimes I swear you have a death wish. We are the same, Miss Croft. We have both had everything taken from us. You think danger is Yeah, look, look, look at that clip right here. There's nothing. There's nothing there. Just stop it on that still frame. Look at that. There's nothing. There's not no curvature, no nothing, flat chested. Absolutely. Is your friend. Run! How much longer? Well, she had curvature here. Look, look at this clip right here. There's good curvature there, right? Like, you know, some, sometimes in one or two frames out of a million frames in the show, they'll give her a good look. But this is, look how fast this scene is. You barely see it. How much longer can you persevere? If this is the life you've chosen, 
Don't think <laughs> look at that clip right did. here. Let's look at this one right here. Look at this. <laughs> That's Laura Croft, guys. That's what she's evolved to. Thanks to freaking Joey Jill Soloway and freaking Mariel Hester he him. They them he him she her. That's all this has gone to. It's all gone to crap, people. Laura Croft has been desexualized. D de this show is gonna be so woke. There's gonna be so much virtual signaling and subliminal messages and all this friggin' same-sex relationship. Look what's like you got a friggin' woman holding her hand and probably wants to get her into bed so she can have friggin' intercourse with her. Who knows? But this is the crap that we're dealing with today, people. It's out of control.